Under the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, governments have a duty to warn children about the risks of injury. In England, the Department for Education says it expects schools to be aware of the risks and to provide a safe environment for pupils. Robert Piggott, BBC News. Well, let's hear both sides of this with Professor Eric Anderson from the University of Winchester, one of the signatories calling for a ban on rugby tackling in schools. Angus Swanson is with us here too, who suffered a serious head injury playing rugby at school in Wales, but does still support contact rugby for school children. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Eric, it's not just tackling, is it? It's also, I guess, the scrum, rucks yes, and mauls too. What is the danger then in, in your mind? Well. I'm not interested in what's in my mind, I'm interested in what the data says. So in the recent research on 585 school-aged rugby players, there were 204 injuries that were so severe it kept them out of play for over a month. There were also 81 diagnosed concussions, and we know that concussion is difficult to diagnose. So this is a highly injurious sport, and the problem is children are being compelled to play it against their will. By order of the school and the national curriculum, they're often compelled to play contact rugby from age 11 against their will and against their parents' will. But do you think it should be banned, tackling and the scrum, or only for those children who are not interested in playing? Because clearly, there are kids out there who love this game, and that yes. tackling's a really important part of it. Yes. So rugby is a fantastic sport. I've done research in the past showing how inclusive rugby is, how gay-friendly rugby is, the camaraderie that comes out of rugby. It's a fantastic sport. It is still a fantastic sport when you play touch. Now, I want you to consider this. We don't choose to believe, I'm sorry, we don't believe that children have the cognitive capacities to make decisions about drinking alcohol, smoking, having sex, joining the military, driving a car, or even voting. But yet we believe that a five-year-old or an 11-year-old has the cognitive capabilities to make a decision to play a sport that is so highly injurious. Angus, what do you think of this? Because I've actually watched a lot of schoolboy rugby, mm. and some boys, they just want to get in there and tackle, you know, that maybe they're feeling restricted in their rest of their lives, the mm. way they live now, sitting in front of the TV, playing mm. games. And when they get out there, everything in, in them wants to go in there and tackle. I mean, I think in, if we can channel that energy and that sort of physical enjoyment of the game, but we make sure we channel it in that they understand how to tackle properly, they have correct tackle discipline and make sure they know how to fall safely as well. I mean, I coach rugby in West London. So we always ensure that we sh demonstrate how to fall correctly in a tackle, how to make, how to tackle safely, as safely as possible, and just try and minimise the chance of injury. And this is part injury. of the problem. Okay, so how do you think some of the boys would feel then if they were suddenly told, no, no tackling, no scrum? It, I mean, because the argument here is that touch is just as good a game. I think in some ways it's difficult. I mean, touch be touch is wonderful as well for training but um, rugby for me is about going onto a pitch playing physically tackling everything that moves giving li leaving absolutely everything on the pitch and you still say this even after you suffered a terrible head injury yourself yeah yeah it's the game I love so um, you've asked the wrong question <laughs> you ask how would the boys who love to play the sport feel if they're told they can't play the sport but you're not asking the question how do the boys and the parents of the boys who don't want to play collision rugby feel? That's the important question to ask. And we have to realize that only 14% of our PE teachers feel that they're adequate in providing rugby supervision to the children. Now that is a huge teachers. problem obviously, isn't it? It's a, um, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. You have PE teachers who aren't even required to have a Division I rugby certification, let alone first aid, nor are they required to have a concussion awareness training. So Eric, if all these things were put in place, though, this is what I'm yes. trying to get to, would you then say, okay, the boys who want to play contact and their parents are happy, if you've got that in place, you've got the training in place, you've got the people in place, would you still say it was okay? And that should exist within the community rugby playing. The children who self-select into rugby, there is a place for it, and there's a place where they do training and they have certifications that's required, and that's community rugby but not school systems. They're not required to be trained. They can't be trained. This turnover rate is too high. There's too many children that they're supervising. There's too many children who don't want to play it, and it's mismatched. So you've got you know, a six-foot kid and a five-foot kid going up against each other. 
it is a huge problem that can all be rectified simply by moving to touch. Angus, tell us just finally about, about your injury and, and whether you feel it's affected you long term. Well, I mean, no, it's obviously affected me long term, but I would, if I had my time again, I'd do it all over again. I mean, I love the game. It's just, I mean, I think in some regards, the, um, as I mentioned, the, the tackling aspect and that physicality of the game brings about the camaraderie. And you mentioned about touch. I don't think touch quite brings that sort of level of leaving everything on the pitch because you're touching someone rather than crashing your body into them. And it's bizarre. I mean, it's like a physical rite of passage. So I'm not sure rugby, touch rugby quite exemplifies that in the same way as content. Okay, thank you both very Absolutely. much for thank joining you, us. You. It's an interesting one, not just for audiences who where rugby is played, but where American footballers play. Oh, absolutely. As well. It's far okay. worse there. <laughs> yes. Two astronauts have just